Yes, no, I'll, I'll tell you now. I'll tell you now. So, yeah. Coming back, uh, first, we look at Yeah. Arbitration. This is a very, very, very important concept and expect this question in your exam. So, arbitration is nothing but, uh, as I already told you, when you're connecting number of processors, uh, a question actually arises, which processor should have the access to the memory first? So, processor 1 is asking for uh, the memory, processor 2 is asking for the memory. In that case, I have to choose which processor should get the memory. Because I have a priority that this processor has the upper hand or whatever. I want to give some priority. That is the concept of arbitration. So, in uh, your computer organization, you have two types of arbitrations. One is parallel arbitration and the other is serial arbitration. So let us look at the serial arbitration first. So serial arbitration is also called daisy chain, daisy chain arbitration. So in this type of arbitration as the name itself suggests chain, serial. What does it suggest? A single line. So, there is a priority input, PI, and there is a priority output, PO, PI, PO, PI, PO, PI, PO. Every processor has it. And then there is your bus. At the end, your memory. At the end, your memory. So, uh, this is arbiter 1 or your processor 1, uh, whichever way you would like to call it. This is arbiter 2, arbiter 3, arbiter 4. So, this is given the highest priority. This is the priority input line. This is a bus, this is a bus, this is a bus, and so on it continues how many processors or how many arbiters you are connecting. It is totally up to you. Uh, it is because you are the hardware designer there. So uh, what comes down here is the priority input value. I'll draw this same pair, single arbiter uh, picture here, big, PI, PO, and this is a bus line. So, the leftmost, which is, that means, which is closest to this line, that has the highest priority. So, the highest priority, which is PI, uh, the uh, arbiter with the highest priority, the PI value is always set to 1. Okay? Is always set to 1. So, when other processors want to use the bus line and want to get to the memory, their PI value will be 1 their PI value will become 1. However, at that specific time, at that specific time, if the first arbiter, the PO value, the first arbiter's PO value is 0, which is initially set to 0, is still 0, which means it is actually using it. See, PI is set to 1. PI is set to 1. This is the highest priority arbiter. The first one. PI is set to 1 and PO is set to 0. It means it is using the bus line and it is busy. But if it is done with the work it has to do, it means 
the PO, the PO value will become from 0, it will become 1. So the PO value, it will become from 0 to 1. So what will this bus line do? What will this bus line do? This 1 will be carried like this. Now here PI will be 1. So if this processor or if this arbiter wants to use the bus line, it will use it. But if it does not want, this PO value will become 1 and the, uh, the control moves on to the next arbiter. Now this PI value will be 1 and this PO value will be 0. However, if it is using, it will be 0. But if it is not using, the PO value of this processor will become 1 and the control will be gone on to the next arbiter. This is how the daisy chain or the serial arbitration works. But there is one doubt which you have to ask me. Because you are connecting so many processors in series. You might ask me, you are saying this processor has the highest priority. And you are saying the control is slowly moved on like that. Then suddenly if this processor wants the control of the bus line and the memory, what to do? It is simple. If at any point of time, if at any point of time along the entire chain, if one processor which has higher priority than the other is asking for the control, then the processor which is actually using the bus line now, right now, it should finish its work and then give away the control to the processor which is asking for the control. Okay. Even if this processor is also asking then, the highest priority processor or arbiter will get the control. This is how the daisy chain works. So it is simple, don't get confused. How many processors you want, how many arbiters, connect. Each one will have PI and PO, priority input, priority output. PI for the highest priority arbiter is set to 1 and PO is set to 0. If PO value is 0, it means that the processor is actually using the bus line and it uh, does not want to give away the control. If, if the work is over, it means the PO value will be set to 1. The PO value will become 1. So what will this bus line do? It will transfer the 1 value of PO to PI. And this processor, if it wants the control, it will take it. If it does not want the control, it will pass on to the next arbiter. So this is how the serial arbitration works. This is damn simple. Just look at the block diagram. The, you will get it. It's very simple. So next comes your, this is serial arbitration or daisy chain arbitration. Next comes parallel arbitration. So parallel arbitration, how do you think it is different from serial one? Serial one, there is a big, big disadvantage that uh, once the control is moved on to the next, again that processor if it does not want control, then again shift, then again shift. See how much time you're wasting here. You're wasting time or not? Yes. So, so to overcome this, you have parallel arbitration. You have parallel arbitration. So, in parallel arbitration, also you have the respective processors. Uh, four processors, right? Four processors. So there is uh, instead of connecting each one of these, instead of connecting each one of these, we are employing an encoder and a decoder. So,
this is a 4 by 2 encoder so there is a request line for every processor there is a request line for every arbiter or not there is a request line request 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 and there is also an acknowledgement line acknowledgement line so this acknowledgement line uh, tells uh, I have received the input I have received the signal that is acknowledgement request is I want to use the bus and the memory that is request and acknowledgement is I got the signal now I can use the memory and the bus that is acknowledgement and request is I want to use the bus and I want to use the memory so each request line is connected to the 4 by 2 encoder each request line is connected to the 4 by 2 encoder so what does this 4 by 2 encoder do takes 4 inputs encodes that into 2 outputs so 2 outputs will be coming out from the 4 by 2 encoder what we are going to employ here is a 2 by 4 decoder we are employing a 2 by 4 decoder we are using an encoder and we are using a decoder so this decoder is connected to each and every acknowledgement line acknowledgement slot this acknowledgement that acknowledgement and all the four arbiters acknowledgement line the decoder connects the acknowledgement slot for all the four arbiters and the encoder receives the request from the four arbiters so this encoder sees uh, whichever uh, um, a processor or arbiter is asking for request and it sees all that and then it encodes it into two outputs and those two outputs will get again decoded into four outputs so based on this output of this decoder that specific arbiter is given the acknowledgement you can now use the bus and the memory apart from this you have the single you have bus connections to all processors which is common and I have not mentioned it so there is a bus connection bus connection to every processor and then connected to your memory this is how parallel arbitration works so serial arbitration and parallel arbitration serial arbitration is however more important for your exams 